welcome back to Adventures in the Schoolhouse. We're so excited to have you. We're jumping into this fun and easy spring craft activity that you can do with a couple simple supplies that you already have at home. We are making toilet paper roll flowers. Okay, so I am just going to get a cardboard uh, box. So this is a cardboard box that holds bottle waters just to keep my um, white counters clean because we're gonna be doing some painting. So here are the supplies you need. Toilet paper rolls, so you can save these. You don't have to throw these away. We are recycling here. So this is a fun uh, craft using recycled materials. Three popsicle sticks. We're going to need some paint. I'm picking some spring colors. I'm using Craft Smart. We'll go ahead and link it in the video. I purchased all of these at Michael's. We love Michael's, our craft store. So we've got these, we've got yellow, pink, some purple, and then we have green. The green is going to be painted on the popsicle stick as the stem of the flower. And then you're gonna need scissors, and of course, some tissue paper. We're all set, ready to go. All right, so we have our popsicle stick and some green paint, and we're just gonna go ahead and paint these little popsicle sticks. stems painted with our little cute green popsicle sticks. And now we are going to jump into painting these vibrant spring colors. So we've got our toilet paper roll. And if you don't have empty toilet paper rolls at home, you may absolutely just use a paper towel roll and go ahead and cut it in three equal parts. Easy peasy. Flowers painted, our little toilet paper rolls, and we are gonna go ahead and get ready to cut these next. What I love about this craft is this can be done at home with moms and any age children. So even little, little learners can jump into this fun spring craft, and we're using, again, products that we already have at home, and we're recycling and upcycling. So we are going to jump into the cutting. Of course, only the moms can cut with these big adult scissors. halfway so that we're gonna cut the other side and they're gonna meet. We're gonna flip them down and we're gonna paint. Flip these over like this. And flip these over like this. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and paint these little guys on the inside to match their outer sides. for our flowers and we've got these adorable painted flowers right here. So we've got a yellow, a purple, and a pink. We've got lots of paint on our hands so you probably want to wash your hands at this point. Now we are going to stuff them with some tissue paper and cut a little hole at the bottom to insert the stem. So again using the scissors, only the mamas are using the scissors at home. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a little hole with my scissors. Go ahead and just insert the stick right there like so. And now what I'm going to do is grab some tissue paper. Just kind of wad it up. And I'm just sticking it in here. This is them, they're so cute. So we've got these adorable recycled and upcycled um, spring flowers. And we just used toilet paper rolls that we were gonna throw away anyway, popsicle sticks, and paint that we already had at home, and some tissue paper. So these little guys are adorable. We've got yellow, purple, and pink. So fun, and I have to tell you, I've displayed these uh, by inserting them into a little um, container of wheatgrass that you can buy at the grocery store or a health market. 
anyway, and they're super cute. They look like they're growing out of the wheatgrass. So really cute. I hope you had fun with this fun craft that you can do at home and come join all our adventures in the Little Red Schoolhouse.